four phases of clinical trials. So we have phase one, which is usually healthy volunteers, very small group, maybe up to 50 people, and they're looking at safety and side effects. Um, we move up to phase two, they're looking at also, again, safety um, and efficacy to see if it's working for the designated area that you're trying to treat. Um, phase three is one step beyond, and that's also looking again at efficacy, safety, um, and tolerability of different doses. So there's often a placebo that you're comparing to, or you're comparing to a treatment that's already on the market. So placebo is um, kind of called also a sugar pill. So it's a pill that has no medication in it, and they're designed to look similar to the actual medication, so you don't know which one you're taking. So you might be randomized, um, assigned like the flip of a coin to get one or the other in a clinical trial. Placebos are important because you need to see if the drug is actually working. Um, if a lot of people are reporting improvements on a placebo, it could be a placebo effect where people just may think they're getting a medication, they're like, oh, I'm doing something for my health, I'm getting better. Um, but they need to see actual clinically meaningful differences between a placebo, the fake pill, and then the actual medication. When the drug is approved, you have phase four trials, which are um, safety registries, the post-marketed trials um, for all drugs that are FDA approved, and you're just continuing to follow patients to see um, the safety profile of the drug.